Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. If you clicked on this video, you already know that I got a new bike, an Atso Arctotis. What you don't know is the tragic, highly embarrassing event that was a precursor to why I needed a new fat bike in the first place. During a recent blizzard, I headed out to get a few shots of myself biking in a winter setting. Between shots, I leaned my bike up against the car, but the wind quickly blew my bike over. Too windy for the old bike lean, I laid the bike down in front of my car and hopped inside to warm up and review some footage. Satisfied with my work, I put the car into gear and proceeded with what I can only describe as a severely unfortunate lapse of attention. What the? Yeah, that really happened. Rear wheel, derailleur, pedal, chain stay on the frame, all completely toast. Bummer too, because I really like that bike. Rest in peace, bike. But enough about that, let's check out the new bike. The Atso Arctotis. All right, so I went with the Arctotis for a few reasons. Um, Otso is a local company out of Burnsville. That's right, Burnsville, Minnesota. Now, if you're not familiar with Otso Cycles, perhaps you've heard of their parent company, Wolf Tooth Components, manufacturers of high quality bicycle components and tools. They're also the minds behind lithic components. And Otso bikes are loaded with wolf tooth and lithic components. And these three entities are part of the flourishing bicycle industry that's found throughout the greater Twin Cities of Minnesota. They make really good bikes. They already have the um, Otso Voitech, which is their more um, racier uh, uh, fat bike. It's all carbon frame. The Arctotis is their steel frame, um, huge tire clearance, uh, more expedition type of bike. Uh, and so I don't really do any racing in winter. I just get out to get exercise, be outdoors. So this fit the bill for me. Um, so yeah, so this is a steel frame, uh, Cremoli steel bike. It has the tuning chip in the back here. And what that allows you to do is adjust the wheelbase uh, of your bike. If you have it in the back where it is now, it's supposed to offer a more stable ride, uh, especially if it's under, under a heavy load, if you're doing an expedition, going bike packing, things like that, or just really, really rough or loose terrain, that'll be more stable of a ride. And if you swap this to the front, it'll offer a shorter wheelbase that'll be a little bit snappier out on the trails. The fork is the lithic carbon fat bike fork. So they, they paired the steel frame with the carbon fork to keep it a little bit more um, playful, lighter up front. All right, starting with wheels, these are the lithic rhyolite 90 millimeter aluminum uh, wheels. These are 26 inch wheels with the lithic hubs inside as well. Um, and on these things are the Johnny 5 26 by 5 inch fat bike tire. Now these things are enormous. They can really eat up anything, which is honestly what I look for in a fat bike tire. I don't need to get a fat bike tire to go super fast. I just want to be able to go over as much as I possibly can on a bike. So these are set up tubeless and the Arctotis can accommodate the fattest tires on the market with room to spare. You can put on a 26 inch by 5.05 inch. You can run a 27 and a half by 4.5 inch or even plus size 29ers, which run typically three inches. One of the reasons I did go with this bike though, is that um, these rims can accommodate the studded tires I already have. I have Rathchild and Dillinger 5 studded tires. Those things cost so much money. So I really wanted to be able to use those from the old bike. Hub spacing is pretty typical, 150 by 15 millimeters up front, 197 by 12 in the back. And for the drivetrain, we have the Shimano SLX 12 speed. Um, one thing Otso kind of marketed on this bike is having this fat of tires with a 12 speed setup and a narrow Q factor was something they really wanted to accomplish and they feel that they did that with this bike. 
Um, so the rear cassette offers 10 teeth to 51 teeth spread. Um, we have race face effect cranks. Um, the front chain ring is a 30 tooth wolf tooth uh, chain ring. So the bottom bracket is a race face um, threaded bottom bracket, which I really prefer over the press fit, just easier to remove uh, and replace if you ever need to do that. One of the other reasons that I went with this bike is that it accommodated my newly acquired Wolf Tooth Resolve dropper post. This thing is awesome. It has a self-bleeding cartridge, so every time you lower the seat, the air that may build up in the cartridge bleeds out. I really wanted to hang on to that. This has a 31.6 diameter uh, seat post so I was able to swap it out into this bike so the brakes on this bike are the Magura MT4 they're more of an entry-level brake um, you know you got to leave room for upgrades somewhere so maybe new brakes someday I'm not sure so we got wolf tooth um, headset we have the, the Jones bars that I took off my other bike put them on um, I don't need a super aggressive riding posture when I'm fat biking in winter. I like these, they come back, the 45 degree sweep comes back. I'm able to be more upright. Um, they're very, very comfortable. I have some big cork ergon grips on here, which kind of heighten the, the comfortable factor. And I have a Cell Italia Man saddle. Um, I've just found this to be a really comfy saddle. Uh, I have it on my mountain bike as well. So I'm just gonna stick with that. So as this is Otso's more expedition ready bike, they have cargo mounts all over. The fork has three on each side if you want to run like an everyday cage, something like that. There's three um, uh, cargo mounts here. There's one here for a bottle cage. There's one on the bottom of the down tube for a bottle cage. There are rear rack mounts on the seat stays uh, so you can run mounts if you want to do that if you're going on a really long ride. Yeah, a lot of cool bells and whistles on this bike. I really like all the mounts if I ever do an overnighter, um, it's something I would really like to do. Time is just hard to find, but I could really stack this thing up nicely and I think it'd be very comfortable uh, under a load. All right, so that is a look at the Atso Arctotis. Uh, I've been on a few rides with it so far and I have been very happy. Um, I've been on groomed trails, non-groomed kind of like walking trails, some snowmobile trails, and it's, uh, it's eaten up everything that I've thrown at it so far. Um, you know, it's really stable, definitely. Uh, the five inch tires set up tubeless. Uh, I've ran them down to about three PSI and yeah, very happy with how it's, it's going over all the loose stuff. So, you know, one of my not so proud moments um, ends up having a silver lining. So that's life sometimes. Anyhow, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.